Hi everyone, we are the Asian degree from Kedah. Yeah. This is our team member and our teachers. Our project is about recycling used cooking oil. Alif, do you remember three places we went before? Hmm, let me see. Is that Taman Gunung Kriang and Pantai Leman? Correct, but you forget one more place. That is Kampung Pida Tiga. <laughs> Actually, we face three environmental problems which are unsystematic garbage collection and improper disposal of plastic waste. But remember that both of the problems can be solved by the cleaning department. So we choose improper disposal of cheese cooking oil in Pidak Tiga. Ladies and gentlemen, you want to know why we are eager to recycle the cooking oil? This is because our goal is to reduce the dumping of used cooking oil at our local environment. And also, it can prevent blockage and drainage, and in the other hand, it can generate income by recycling used cooking oil. Step 2 Understand current situation. Based on our research, used cooking oil can affect on biodiversity, health, and also ecosystem. Fellow friends, this used cooking oil comes from here. As you can see, it comes from commercial kitchen, farmer use at many fields, and also came from house. Next, as you can see here, we have done a survey with 3,000 people from 30 village. So uh, we find out that our community, uh, our respondent is mostly nearby our school. And as you can see here, on the second question, most of our community use cooking, use oil to cook every day. And this, uh, before we do this project, most of them don't know that used cooking oil can be recycled. And after we do this project, most of our respondents know that used cooking oil can can recycle. And ninety-seven percent of them don't know that used cooking oil can be recycled. Hmm, that's a big problem. So how do you solve it? Okay, as you can see here, our team set a goal to collect 5,000 kilograms of used cooking oil from the six schools, including our school, starting from May until October. And these are the five schools. They are, they are very proactive and willing to, to work with us in TEY program. Step 4, root cause analysis. Based on our fishbowl diagram, this is our root cause, which are lack of collection center, lack of knowledge, no standard procedure, and lack of investment. And these all the root cause are contrarable except as as for this one, which is lack of investment. This is because this is because it uh, it falls under the local authorities. And as you can see on the spy chart, most of them are not are, most of them don't know that using it all can be recycled. This show them a very lack of knowledge. And step five, draft countermeasure. And based on our cost, we plan to first distribute flyers. Second, establish UCO center. And lastly, set out step to recycle. And this is our gun chart that has been settled before the end of the October. And also, this is our activities and also participant info. Step 6, implement countermeasure. As you can see here, they are, this is our, this is our collaborated, collaboration with agencies, which is Extra Dukor, Majlis Bandaraya Alusta, Puspanita, E-Idaman Cleaning Service, and also PIBG team. And this is our program. As you can see here, we do draft to recycling, we do draft to recycling program at Point Villa, I'll start with EEDAMAN cleaning service. Next, we do collection of used cooking oil at Masjid, Kam Masjid Kubang Siam. And we also distribute container to the community. Next, we do collection of used cooking oil collaboration with Petronas. And we also spread the awareness at PIBG, uh, during PIBG meeting in our school. And this is our flyers. Besides that, we also do campaign one hundred, 
1 kg youth cooking oil every month. And we also spreading awareness at SMK Agama Kedah and at public spot around our star, which is Taman Jubilee Mas and Taman Rima. Next, this is our science and mathematics exhibition about youth cooking oil. And we also do drive through the second program at Holiday Villa with STM Lupo, Majlis Mandari Arista, Puspanita, Gerak, at Gerak, and also Hida Ida Bantri Service. And we also do recycling, we also do drive through recycling program at Stadium Arista with the same agencies. This program, including the whole citizen of, of Kedah, and also including the Lunar State, which is Perak, Perlis, and also Penang. Okay, um, actually, uh, this program, we join in purpose just to get a good, good repo when we start this project. And this is our international collaboration. Our teacher always bring this Toyota project to the other countries and promoting to them about our, our, about our project. Wow, is that you in the Malaysian Book of Record? Exactly, there are all the Toyota Kedah team in there. We were awarded for the highest collection of Kyuski Oil in Malaysia. Wow, well done Kedah, good job! How are you? Never mind, just kidding. We also do a lot of innovation, such as lipstick, lip gloss, candles, and so for future, we are going to patent our lip gloss formula with the collaboration of UKM, University Kebangsaan Malaysia, due to the high demand from our school cooperative. Start 6, Implement Contemplation. Turut berjaya dikumpul 850 kg barangan terpakai seperti minyak masak, kotak, surat khabar. So, uh, this is our other way we promote we promote our activity during Toyota Eco Youth Program such as RTM TV1, Sina Harian News, Majlis Badar Raya Alista Facebook, Bulletin, Poster and so on. Actually, we also appear on the RTM TV1 yesterday. You can see on our booth. Don't forget to see. Adil, what our teacher do in this picture? Oh, actually, uh, we already have these five schools signing an MOU with us to become UCL Hub. How do we know this project will sustain, Alif? Let's see the next slide. Total money earned by the six school, six school in six months are 57,000 ringgit. So uh, actually, the money we didn't take any single cents, but we give all the money back to the parents uh, who own the use cooking oil. So that they can buy their needed for their family. And as you can see, based on what Alif said, we actually teach them how to generate income by selling used cooking oil. This is our data from the sixth school. And this is the receipt from the sixth school. <clears throat> so uh, for the SMK Rojangkos 1, total kg we got is 3,309 kg with the total money 9.9k ringgit. So for the SKP Datiga, total kg we got is 5,236 kg. Total RM we got is 15, 15 from uh, 15.7 ringgit. Okay. Okay. For the SK Hakim Ten, total kg we got is 5,542 kg. With the money got is 30.3k ringgit. And this is our receipt from SK Datuk Sri Sri Ahmad. And uh, the total they collected is 2530 kg. And the total money they get is 7005k ringgit. And this, uh, this is our receipt from SK Sri Perdana. And the total they collect is 2,932 kg and the, the money they get is 8.7k ringgit and this is uh, and lastly this is the receipt from SMB Sribuno the total they collected is 580 kg and the money the money they collected is 1,000 1.7k 
Hakim, do you remember our first target when we set the goal? Yes, I remember. We only set. We only set five thousand kilogram. We only set five thousand kilogram of using using oil. But now we reach beyond our target. That is ninety thousand kilogram. I repeat, ninety thousand kilogram. So, this is before we do awareness and collection of use cooking oil. As you can see uh, on the before video, uh, there are some oil stick on the tissue. And the, uh, the, after, uh, the after video, you can see there are no oil sticky on the tissue anymore. Yay! Yay! <clears throat> step 6 and step 8 standardize and establish control. To ensure our work is more organized, we have standardized process by the way. First, we do poster. Second, form. Third, checklist. Fourth, flowchart. Fifth, meeting. And lastly, report. <laughs> and lastly, bulletin. And this, the five schools also implemented the same method like us. No wonder the project are successful. And this is Dr. Banda of our staff. As you can see here, because of the DUI project, we, we have a good rapport with them. And we also came out on Majlis Bandaraya our staff Facebook for, collect, for promoting quality of used cooking oil. And lastly, we want to make a special thanks to six school, 12 NGOs, and 12 GOs that work as our strategic partner during this whole project. And lastly, I want to share an inspiring story about our friend named Eva. Her father lost his work, lost his work during the PKP, and automatically they lost source of income. Eva and five siblings almost dropped out of school to help her family, but luckily, from our suggestion, her housewife mother took the idea to open a banana fritter stall to generate income. And they use 30 kg of cooking oil for every month that cost, that cost them 60 ringgit and they sell us, then, then they sell to us for 90 ringgit and they can buy the, uh, the cooking oil for the next month with the 30 ringgit left. Wow, that's very smart decision! Yes, and now they have two stalls and also she is still stuck. She is continuing her studies at SNK Arikus. Oh, so sweet! And finally, this is Eva and our big family at SMK Arikus that become more closer to each other because of Toyota Eco Youth Program. Thank you, Toyota, for giving us opportunity and wonderful experience, and we really appreciate it. Thank you, Toyota. Thank you, student. So, any question or comments from the judges? Thank you, uh, team from Sekolah Menang Bangsaan Adu Jangkus. It's a great project. We appreciate what we are doing. Um, definitely, I need some clarification about your project. Number one is uh, when how the idea came out uh, uh, to start this program or this project, uh, even is it being a guided situation or you choose by yourself or your team to select the project on this uh, use of cooking oil. Number two, uh, the process of disposal or the buying back, uh, is that a specific contractor to go and buy uh, the used cooking oil or how you manage that so that the the, the one who go and collect the cooking oil or use cooking oil uh, have a specific center to do a collection. Uh, so, uh, actually, most of our community use the cooking oil every day, uh, such as uh, the stall, the stall, the vendor, and also at the household. And we also uh, uh, before this 
uh, we said that we make a five connection hub to connect those uh, to arrive and from them uh, from there uh, they collected the USB coin then they sent it to the Idaman or the collecting vendor which is trash for cash or Idaman. successful with uh, 19,000 uh, kg on uh, use oil collected. I have probably two questions. The first question, um, how do you set 5,000 kg as your target? Actually, we set 5,000 kilogram uh, target right? Uh, because uh, because uh, the student of the school The total of the student of because of the total student of the school. If you are comfortable with that chakra bahasa, you can answer in bahasa. No oh, okay. Okay. Oh, okay. So, uh, project ni kan? Kami ambil data berdasarkan murid-murid sekolah dari belakang dari sekolah. Lepas tu, daripada komuniti setempat. Sebab daripada murid-murid sekolah tu, kami dapat beri-beri uh, kurang. Lepas tu, ada komuniti setempat macam penjual-penjual uh, barang yang bergoreng apa semua tu lah tu yang dapat tu 3,000 bukan, 3,000 is your survey ya, ya, yang survey lah lepas tu you set 5,000 as your target oh. nak collect 5,000 kan ha. macam mana you set 5,000 the 3,000 is your students or whatever that you want to pay yeah. tapi yang 5,000 kenapa you set 5,000 sebagai target oh uh, sebab uh, kita orang rasa macam takut untuk saya get lebih daripada itu and daripada sekolah itu pun kita find out uh, the student tak ramai sangat lepas itu uh, so we only set uh, 830 kg for each school okay, uh, my next question I nak tahu because you did quite a big project dealing with banyak sekolah surrounding your area you did 3000 involving students and uh, orang yang tinggal nearby what was your biggest challenge that you faced? Okay. banyak sebenarnya kami apa, ada masalah contohnya okay. macam sebelum ni kami buat apa ni, collecting for free tapi orang banyak bagi alasan tak ada container lah tak ada apa ni tak ada collection hub lah lepas tu lepas kami dah buat tu pun orang still tak nak bagi minyak masuk pakai tu lepas tu kita orang buat satu kempen yang mana uh, UCPR ni boleh dijual dengan harga RM3 sekilo lepas tu orang mula nak jual minyak masak pakai tu lepas tu orang jadi bersemangat lah sebab kan duit tu je so RM3 uh, jadi motivation untuk people to yes. uh, uh, use the use to keep on yeah. okay. so you did a good job right you free orang tak nak you bagi duit everybody wants to yes. use to keep on yeah. but then you give uh, to the contractor tiga ringgit kan? Then yeah. you take the tiga ringgit and give back to the people okay. who want to give you. Yeah. But you're also spending a lot of money on your awareness mm. uh, program. You bought poster, you bought bulletin. Why you didn't keep some money and then give them probably only two ringgit fifty cent? No, you don't. I just tanya you why. Okay. Don't worry, there's no right or wrong answer. Just what's <laughs> your thinking. Very generous, but you want to give some good to it, buddy. Ah, so, but we are going to do this for the holiday. Okay, thank you. Thanks, also. Um, thank you for the very lively presentation. Um, and I appreciate you did a lot of practice. I think the two of you, so that's good. So, you went through a very structured process to go through your problem solving um, and identifying the solution obviously collaborating with many, many people um, within your school and other schools. Um, what is the biggest learning experience um, that you and your team got from this whole journey? Okay. Uh, can I say the okay. lesson? So, uh, okay. before this, kita orang takut tau nak cakap tentang test. 
And kita orang tak boleh buat speaking macam tadi tu And after we do this project Kita orang jadi macam lebih berani nak cakap dengan Arpan ni And more pandai to eat English And uh, sebabkan kita orang ni sekolah sekolah kampung kan Sebab uh, tak ada guna bahasa English sangat So before this Kita tak tahu apa pun pasal ni And after we do this project Baru kita orang pandai nak cakap dengan Arpan Lepas tu kita orang rasa lagi berani nak cakap dengan Arpan Yes.